Hey everyone, sewing straight? Well, that's pretty much a goal for all of us, I think. And sometimes it's easy and sometimes it's not. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you my top tools that helps me sew straight. And now, of course, practice is important, but thankfully there's also a lot of little gadgets that can help us achieve a much nicer and straighter stitch. So that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. And the first one is this. It's usually called, I think in English, a quilter, a quilt guide or a quilter ruler. In Sweden we actually call this an edge ruler and to be honest we're not all that big on quilting in Sweden but so this tool is not usually used for quilting instead it's used to keep the fabric straight while you're stitching and I love this little tool and usually I think it's included in most sewing machines when you buy them right and if not it's a really cheap tool that will make a huge difference. So if you haven't used this before, what you do is that you insert it in a slot behind the presser foot, adjust where you want it to stay, just flip it so that it covers the edge, and then you just let the fabric follow along the line of this guide. I highly recommend to use these tools. In fact, at least on my Unoma color stitch machine, you can also attach one of these. So it's definitely really useful when you're doing color stitching as well, so this is my number one favorite tool for helping me sew straighter. And my second favorite tool to help me sew straighter is this one. It's called an edge presser foot, I think. There are a couple of other names as well. Again, I think that most sewing machine brands will have this type of presser foot. And the trick is obviously that it has a blade that you align at the edge of the fabric. So this is wonderful if you're doing a lot of top stitching, or if you're stitching in the ditch, anything where you're stitching just really close to the edge of the fabric, this tool will make the biggest difference. It's absolutely fantastic. I hope that it's included in your sewing machine. And if not, I definitely recommend that this should be the first extra presser foot that you invest in. I love mine so much and it makes beautiful, beautiful results. Another thing you can do is to attach something on the bed of the sewing machine that helps you sew straighter. There are some magnetic sewing guides, I know. They are not really available here in Sweden. So instead I use a Scandinavian popular little toy called Lego. Yeah, you know what I mean, right? So this Lego piece is the longer one, which I think makes a fantastic seam guide. And you might wonder, how do I make this piece of Lego stick on the bed of the sewing machine. Well, I use um, this gooey stuff that makes uh, things stick to the wall. It's sometimes called blue tack. Uh, this one is actually white, but it works the same way. So this just, it's just perfect, stick enough to place it on. So use this kind of blue tack and you will keep the piece of Lego in place. So if you haven't discovered the joy of using Lego for sewing, I definitely think it's time to do that now. Another popular tool for helping you to sew straighter is using these post-it notes. I usually don't use this myself as I'm so fond of the Lego and other tools. And the only thing you need to do with the post-it is to pull away, obviously the back side, because that will reveal the glue side. And then you just place it on the bed of the sewing machine. And I think that a nice uh, stack like this will probably help it makes easier. I actually prefer, just like the piece of leg that I showed you, that I find that it's easier if there is a little bit of height on my seam guide. So that's a tip, use post-it notes. And some people are also really fond of using tape. I like to use this sometimes. This is called electrical tape in Sweden. Uh, this is a black tape that is doesn't stick. Cause the problem if you're using regular tape is that the glue of the tape will probably uh, remain, leave a little bit left the glue on the sewing bed, which makes it kind of annoying to remove. But this type of electrical tape leaves no reduced. Painter's tape is also really great. What I like about the black one is that it's more visible. But as I said, painter's tape works as well. And I know that in some countries you have something called blue tape as well. I suspect that's similar, but don't use duct tape and don't use regular tape because both these will leave glue that will be really annoying to remove afterwards. So this is a much better tape. I'd love to know what this is actually called in, in English. I, we call it electrical tape, but perhaps it's a different name, but you know what I mean. It's used for securing electrical cords and stuff like that. So that's why this tape is so good. 
And my last tip for sewing straighter is this one, the magnifying light. I've talked about this in a previous video and I love it so much because it really magnifies so well and it helps me make much more accurate stitching, especially if there is no contrasting thread. This lamp with the magnifying glass just makes it so much easier to see where I sew. So I highly recommend that, especially also if you sometimes the light in your sewing area is not top notch. Investing in one of those is highly recommended. Mine is from Prim. I don't think it's available anymore, but there is another one that you can buy, which I will link to in the description section. So these were my top tips for sewing straight. I would love to know if you have any ones. I know that, for instance, there is a sticker, like a sticker ruler that you can place on the bed of your sewing machine. That seems quite popular. I have not tried that one myself. And there's also other type of hemming and, and folding guides for different sewing machines and cover stitch machines. So I would love to know if you have tried any of those accessories as well. I have not, so that's why I can't recommend them. But I would love to know your experience on what has helped your sewing straight. And of course, practice well that really helps a lot too all the tools in the world won't solve all the value of doing a lot of practice but i can assure you that using tools would definitely be a confidence booster if you're struggling with sewing straight so that's why i'm so very fond of using this various tool thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please subscribe for weekly sewing videos stitch safe and i'll see you next time bye bye